All right, hello everybody, Edward Pubos for MLive, and I am in one of the coolest places that I've ever been, okay? Well, it's just, we're gonna give you a little taste of this. This is uh, a rarely seen uh, car collection, one of the elite private car collections in the whole world, the Ligenfelter Car Collection, and it's gonna be open to the public on Saturday, April 20th, 2024, obviously this month, uh, benefiting the American Cancer Society. So pay what you want at the door, whether it's five or 10 bucks or bring a big check. Okay, all the money goes to charity and it, it's all credit to this man right here, Ken Ligenfelter himself, uh, owner of this amazing private collection. And he's showing us around a little taste of it for you. We're not gonna show the whole thing, but a little taste of it. We're in the Corvette room right now, which, and he's gonna show us kind of one of the cars that started it all. Uh, let's kind of walk over there. And we'll, we'll talk to Ken as we look at some of these cars. I'll take the camera from you. Because um, we don't want to see me. We want to see Ken in the cars. So thank you for welcoming, welcoming us in here, Ken. And again, April 20th, uh, you'll have the open house for charity. Yeah, so I'm so glad you're here, Edward. And I appreciate you guys coming. You know, this is uh, we do this uh, uh, open house every year for the American Cancer Society. We've been doing it for years. It's a great fundraiser. Um, this collection isn't open to the public, but we do open to the public for charity events, and it's been its mission all along. Uh, there's some very rare cars in here, some odd-looking cars, some very fun hmm. cars. Um, I'm a, an enthusiast to the ta to the total. I, I, I've been I've loved cars ever since I was a young kid. The car that really inspired me early on was the 1963 split window Corvette. And there it is right there. And, uh, I saw my first split window when I was 10 years old. My dad was a GM employee. He took me to a uh, car show at the GM Tech Center. And I can still remember as a 10 year old walking up behind this car and looking through that back window and absolutely falling in love with that Corvette and Corvettes forever. In fact, I think this car is the car that made me a Corvette guy for life. Wow. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a one-year design with a split window. And uh, this one happens to be in incredible shape. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. So, yeah. Look at that. What year is this vehicle? It's 1963. 63, okay. Yeah. But this whole room is filled with Corvettes right now. We have about 55 Corvettes in this center room. It's the uh, major product that my performance company produces. We build performance cars and enhance uh, Corvettes and have been doing it, Camaros, all GM products, really. But uh, Corvette has always been the biggest product. Well, and I've never seen this before right here, this uh, station wagon Corvette. This is a, another rare vehicle that you have here as well. It's a sport wagon. That's the way they referred to it. A sport uh, wagon, okay. And it had uh, some Greenwood features. Uh, Greenwood was an ex-racer, uh, road racer for, for General Motors. And, and as a result, uh, he added some additional uh, kind of flares and things of that nature to to provide more aerodynamics to cars. Hmm. Um, I don't. I think they only built about 15, between 15 and 20 sport wagons, which they weren't race cars, but they were certainly there to get a lot of attention, so. Amazing, and you have, um, okay, so you have, you have Corvettes, you have uh, Customs, you have uh, a lot of different things here, and people can see this again. It's it's open to the public, and that's a rare thing for, for charity, American Cancer Society, on April 20th, and again, people can get, just come here, uh, and, and pay what they want at the door, and the money goes to charity, right? Make a donation in any amount at the door, and we're going to support, uh, as we have in the past, American Cancer Society, which, by the way, is a great charity. I mean, we're very convinced and very comfortable with the fact that a donation there is going to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. What was the, f what was the, uh, the first car? Do you still have the first car you ever... You know, purchased for the, your collection, uh, or maybe it was a car that necessarily wasn't for the collection, but maybe you still have it, or would it would it be this? You know, you could probably say that about the 63 split window. We've got some very early Corvettes. The one Corvette that uh, we don't have here right now, it's on display at the Corvette Museum, is uh, Zora Duntoff's mule car. We've got lots of pictures of it on the wall. It'll be back here in June, and we'll have more fundraisers uh, as the years go on, we did uh, 60 events here in 2019. 
So, and, and she said, not open to the public, but open to charity. A lot of private events for charity and things like that. Yeah. Exactly. So, and you have uh, three different rooms here. You have merchandise. Um, let's check out, uh, yeah, wherever you want. I mean, just look at, I mean, people like this is just everywhere you look, there's, there's something different here, something rare. Like you said, one of ones or customs. There's, it's just, what a variety. This is just, it's, it's like a museum, but it's obviously not a museum. It's a private collection and it's just, you just, you don't see things like this just anywhere. This is one in a million. I mean, what is this, for instance? Well, what is this? to be honest with you, it's <laughs> called a Phillips. There were 90 of them built. Um, there's, I think, about two left. And underneath all of this is an 81 Corvette. So uh, <laughs> the, old, the Corvette body comes off and the Phillips body went on. And uh, it's pretty dramatic, but it gets a lot of attention, as you can oh, imagine. Oh, yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So again, if you're just joining us, we're uh, we're with Ken Ligenfeld here at the Ligenfelter Collection, and uh, is this technically Wixom or Brighton? This is Brighton. Okay. Yeah, we have a performance shop in Wixom. On gotcha. The road, but, okay. Yeah. And, and this, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. typically I've got posters here of some of the cars that we've built in the performance company, and those are free. Um, I'll be glad to sign them when people come in if they'd like one. Okay. And then this room here, we've got more modern uh, Corvettes. The New C8 Corvette is. Oh wow! This is my daily driver. Actually, I've got almost fifty. Good choice. Miles on it. Good there choice. Is. <laughs> Thank you. Just this is the one he just strolls around in, folks. So if you ever see this, you know who's behind the wheel right there, Ligenfelter. So amazing! What a beautiful car. The yellow car. My wife's the racer in the family now. That's her uh, race car. Wow. Uh, from last year for N Triple C. Wow, yeah, your wife's, uh, what you said, amazing uh, race car driver, oh, just she, outstanding. She's had a, she had a great year last year, finished first in her region and fourth in uh, uh, nationwide. Wow. So, And when people come, too, look, I mean, you have a great uh, a lineup of merchandise that, that people can buy. Um, I mean, it's a, that's a great variety right there, so people can check that out right here in the uh, car collection area, so the newer Corvette area. Um, very, very wow. rare Ferrari here, Edward. This is the uh, red one right here. No, the one right in the corner here. Oh, in the behind the rope there. This is an 812 Competizione. Uh, they're only going to build about 900 plus, maybe short of a thousand. There'll only be a hundred in this country. Mm. And uh, thanks to the collection and my years in collecting cars, I've got a good relationship with Ferrari, and they offered me one of these cars when when they came out so hmm. be very hard to see another one well we're seeing it now and we are we're loving it oh my goodness thanks for sharing that very cool so again i know some of you are just joining us april 20th you guys can come out here just just come out there's no tickets required um there's no pre-purchases um pay what you would like at the door if it's 10 bucks for charity, great, American Cancer Society, everything goes there. If it's a check, people can bring checks, right, if they want. Yeah, yes. if, you, if you have a, you know, if you're well off and you want to donate, like, every bit counts. But, uh, and you had thousands of people last year and you raised fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for American Cancer Society last year at this event. That's amazing. I mean, that's tremendous. That's yeah. tremendous. And I think everybody that's watching this has had um, cancer affect them uh, or a family member at some point in their life. I know I have. And uh, or it, or it will. I mean, hopefully not, but uh, someday it, it's a good chance it will. And uh, it's it's just a great charity, and it's great that you do that. And this is one of the most amazing private car collections in the world. I know you're humble, but I will say it out loud. And uh, like you said, a lot of people have also said that car enthusiasts. And uh, so we thank you for opening that to the public uh, occasionally for charity. And it's just great. So we we really love making new friends. We see a lot of old friends. At events like this and uh we're looking forward to a great day on uh, on april 20th all right cool um any other I want to show us one more really cool vehicle that just has a story like you said every vehicle here he's ken says has a story like you know the story behind all of the 160 plus vehicles here right right this is a very unique car this is a uh a camaro it's a it's a gen 5 camaro when they stopped building uh, Pontiacs. I decided we needed to continue building a Firebird. So this is our own creation. Hmm. And uh, we uh, made sure it had honeycomb wheels and a shaker hood hmm. and all the kinds of things that made Firebird what a great car it is. It, it was. And uh, this car's been shown all over the country. And 
we built about 30 of them all together. Um, we've got a big customer in the Middle East that bought 10. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> but it's a really unique car and really kind of helped carry on the Firebird idea. Uh -huh. Now, if somebody, you know, if I, okay, let's say I hit the lotto someday, okay, the, the Mega Millions. If somebody wanted to come here and say, I love this car so much, is there a price on a vehicle that you would, you know, or is, or is, or is nothing really for sale? You really want to keep the collection as it is. Obviously, you, you get new cars in, you, you said you purchase, you trade, things like that. Sure, but sure. Um, is there, you know, if somebody really loves something and, and made an offer, is that, you know, something you would yeah. entertain? We've, we've, uh, we've sold cars out here, Ed, Edward. And, and the thing is that uh, I'm an enthusiast as well. And so as a result, sometimes people come in and they see something that they haven't seen before and they have to have it. And so uh, we've made a few sales on that basis. Okay. But, uh, more often than not, I'm outside walking around the parking lot and thinking maybe I want to buy something that somebody brought. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's yeah. true. You never know what kind of vehicles will, will show up at like the event. You, like you said, you have people line, you know, parking as far as the eye can see, and, and a lot of them are car enthusiasts, so right. they'll bring their, their, their classics or their customs. So, yeah. One of the best parts of this event is you come in and you park and you get a car show coming in because <laughs> it's people getting their cars out for the first time in the spring. And you come in and look at our cars, and then on the way out, people have left, and more people come in, and so you get a chance to see a whole bunch of other cars on the way out. So That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, well, thank you for showing off part of the collection. Again, this is just a fraction, folks. When you come out here uh, April 20th, um, what time is the event from? Uh, from, we go from 10 to 5. 10 to 5, April 20th, and again, in Brighton. Uh, is the address on here? Yes. So... Here's the flyer. The address is right there at the bottom. I'll obviously, I did a news story on this. I'll do another one and post it on MLive. But uh, here's the flyer so everybody can snapshot it if you'd like to come out. Again, uh, no tickets required. Donate uh, as little or as much as you want because 100% goes to the American Cancer Society. And this is a rare opportunity to see this entire collection. And it is breathtaking. And that's about all. That's the best word I can come up with. Is is it really is? And uh, Scott, you're shaking your head because it is a you're a car enthusiast as well, and yeah, you know, and you know um, you're you're more into tune with cars than I am, so you know. Uh, so thank you for showing this off. And again, folks, you can come out here April twentieth. And uh, uh, amazing. Thanks for showing uh, us the collection, Mr. Lukenfelter. I appreciate you're it. So you're welcome, guys. Glad you're here.